Oh, look at that. I am dead. Literally dead. Good lord. Hello there, back with Death Must Die. Today I have my favorite log passive. Let's see what kind of nonsens nonsensically powerful build I'm going to end up with. Uh, do I want attack ch crit chance? Yes, please. I do a lot of attacks and I crit a lot anyway, so uh, let's go for that. And what do we have want here? Do we want my movement speed? Absolutely, but critical chance. Uh, since the game is giving, might as well just take a bunch of crit. Because that. Uh, at the very start, 16% is actually quite good. That's like several level ups worth of critical chance. Or perhaps just two level ups. Okay, might as well just stand here and uh, gain, gr grind a bunch of levels, like three or four levels, something like that. All my family is quite cold. I'm not sure I want to test that. A chance to apply Chains of War. Do I like Chains of War? Not so much. I want something of a high quality. Come on, g give me master skills. Okay, I blew all my alterations, but now I have Warp Strike. And I was looking for that all along. And unfortunately, Necromancy, I don't want the Necromancy. I kind of like the execution, so Lifelink has to go. Reroll. Ravens can go. Soul Stealers, I kind of like that. Do you mind giving me Serendipity? Come on. The Lock Passer. I, I really needed that. Okay, Execution, go for that. A chance at more experience. Let's face it, it's it's not the best, but let's be honest, a little bit more experience is always going to help me. I'd actually love to get the Wisdom passive, but uh, I mean... You get what you see, and that's that. And look at that, I picked the Chains of War. I saw him a couple of times. Unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. Is it really, though? Look at how powerful I am. I haven't made a single mistake. Oh, I see a shrine to the left. Gotta pick it up. Now, what are you, your money shrine? I don't need you. Seriously, I don't. Now, do we get more rerolls and alterations? Yes, please. Okay, you have to die. Now, you have to die. And I get uh, Chains of War. Love that. Best ability ever. And it's actually quite good at one thing. Breaking parts. Not even... Oh, Global Magnet. Yes, take that. And there was little to nothing on the ground. Very unfortunate. Now, what do we get? We get Spell Duration. And to be honest, since I have Chains of War and whatnot, might as well go into Spell Duration since... Uh, well, it does have a duration. Right? Right. It has been decided, I am now officially a Chains of War build. I don't even need that lock passive anymore. I have my own. And more chains of war, nice. Look at the go! I don't even need to attack. Okay, I do actually need to attack. And yeah, upgrades. More rerolls, always welcome. Now, unfortunately, chains of war really do like to uh, run out. As unfortunate as it is. War Strike Deadlock, yes please. Both. Now, do I see any shrines? So let's go get the shrines. Uh, well, you know, if you don't start attacking, you're actually not going to do any damage. Though, no, that's actually not true. Chains of War actually do a lot of damage. Though not directly. Ooh, more experience. Yes, that's the best thing. How about I get the gem high? Now, imagine, I imagine if I had the gem high, I just attack a little bit. 
and then let's change the board, deal all the damage, and then get a bunch of experience, and just run around like a madman. That sounds like a good plan. Now, what do we have here? We have a lot of shrines, which is the best. I don't have any chance on Master, I don't. I also have no chance of getting decent items here. Chains of War, upgrade. Finally. What do I want to upgrade? I think I want to upgrade Wisdom. I think Wisdom is going to be more instrumental long term. If I, of course, survive long term, which is not a guarantee. More instrumental than the other things. That's the important part. I need more movement speed. I get that I have a lot of attack damage and uh, attack speed. But I have no movement speed, good lord. Okay, that thing died. And now this thing. Hello? Hello? Dead. And now I need to pick up the spoils. Ooh, serendipity. There it is. And wisdom is upgraded. I'm having all the good stuff. Oh, wow. And finally I can attack and move at the same time. Yes. And I got a gem high as well. Okay, I'm getting all the good stuff. Oh, that was a lot of damage. I need to kill all these things before they go away. And try to bash me. To bash me. And thank the RNG for the gem high. It's going the hardest, I think. Now, I don't think that the Chains of War has its own sort of attack kind of sound. And just in case you're wondering, I stopped talking because I'm listening to sounds. Okay, where am I going? I'm going up. I need to run away from these things. I need to actually stop attacking and... Uh, give me enough movement speed to be able to actually run away. Okay, got an extra charge, extra dash. Understand. Wisdom, yes, level 2, absolutely, the best. So now that I have a bunch of these chains of war spinning around me, all I need to do is to uh, go run around and find the shrines. And after, and only after I run out of chains of war, I need to actually attack something. Ow! That was very painful, I'm on one health. And you know what's the funny part? I walked into it myself. I have no one to blame. After all, this uh, this character of mine has no defense and no evasion. Which is of course very unfortunate. But I mean, it is what it is. Hello there. I'm on knockback. Go for knockback. Because with knockback I actually do damage through rupture. And I do rupture everything because uh, I have a bunch of chains flipping around me. And the chains are the best part, I think. The animation is real good. More wisdom! And surprisingly, knockback actually does a very decent damage. And what do we have? We have this, we have double damage. Amazing. Uh, best thing ever. This, and... Uh... Oh, expert chains of war, this is, this is good. If I get more duration passive, I'll probably have like a hundred chains of war. How many do I even have now? A spell area, a larger chains of war. Come on, um, more enemies, please. Something like that. And uh, perhaps a region card. That'll be wonderful. Uh, okay, more chains of war. And this one is uh, attack damage, but less max life. Spell cooldowns. Spell damage. Now it is very important to know that chains of war is actually not on cooldown. It's based on the amount of attacks, or rather, uh, luck. And what's my luck right now? Just a curiosity here. 47% crit, uh, chains of motion, and 230 luck. Wow. And double damage yet again, good stuff. Probably should have saved this for the boss. And the more duration for the chains of war. What's the duration now, by the way? It's 15 seconds, holy cow, I got, I got to have a lot of Chains of War. Now, because I have Chains of War and I'm not picking up the crystals, I don't actually get to build up enough 
attack speed to have Chains of War around me like a hundred times or something. Hey, don't run away from me. Ooh. It's going to be a big horde right now. And you know what? I'm going to have a bunch of Chains of War around me. Just let the Chains of War do the work. Actually, don't let the Chains of War do the work. Help the Chains of War. Oh yes, the attack speed is, is just so good. Soul Stealers. I want the Soul Stealers. They're experts. I also want the Log Passive. Oh no, what a dilemma. Yeah, I don't think I'm actually getting to attack the enemies directly. It's all chains. And the knockback that's doing all the work. And more deadlock, yes please. More duration. Oh, look at that. I am such a blender. And even more luck, yes please. I don't even need to attack. And what do we have? We have uh, nothing interesting. And more luck. A little blender winding down. And yeah, I ran out of the passive. Time to crank it all up back again. I, I just wonder what's the duration of it now? I think I leveled up the passive like a two ice or something. Okay, there should be something up there to the right. Just kill these goats and move on to the right. And you are... You're a great. I get all the master skills. Soul Sealer's Master. I want, the ma I want the Soul Sealer's Master. Just keep going. And definitely there are shrines there. And you're a heal shrine. I appreciate the heal shrine. And you, I don't actually appreciate. Your evasion or your life. You attack faster. These are all the good things. I already attack fast enough, so perhaps evasion can go away. Oh, this is way into expert. Plus one on everything. Yeah, just listening to the sounds. Nothing strange about that. And you know what? I'm oh, I'm at the boss. I'm not close to the boss. And uh, where's the boss? Hello. How do you like my attack speed? How do you like my blender? Whoopsie. And more damage to barriers. Uh, you can attack it for rupture enemies. You know what? I take that. And just stop the auto attack. I let the blender blend. This is just stupidly powerful. And yeah, just look at the Chains of War yet again. They on their own, they don't do damage. It's the knockback and the rupture that does damage, not the Chains of War themselves. Do I want anything wrong here? Not really. And that lock, I want more duration. I want Chains of War spin around me all the time. Okay, it is time to yet again accrue a bunch of Chains of War. And now that I have done that, yeah, just go. We go up and hopefully find some shrines. Oh, there's the one. It's not the very use most not the most useful one, let's be honest. Now what do we have here? We have a reroll, that's what we have. And mayhem, very useful ability, but actually more luck. Maybe a wrong choice, but uh, do I care? Not really. 390 luck, yes. Yeah, for as long as this gets knocked back, whatever it is is going to die because of rupture. Soul Stealers, yes. And what's the damage of my Soul Stealers? It's 18% of current life. And how often do they appear? They always appear. Do they have cooldown, by the way? They don't. What's that? What else is 100% chance? So, 72% chance on the the old chains of war. So essentially, whenever I get enough... Whenever I get enough... Wow. Knockback, yes please. Wow. I just see enemies getting ruptured and knockback and they just pop. But apparently knockback doesn't work on enemies with barriers. I learned something new, good lord. 
And that's that pushback is actually from the Chains of War, because I have quite a few of them going on at the same time. And it's actually very powerful. This is surprisingly powerful. Yeah, just keep flying away. Go away, go away, go away. I need the global magnet. There are two shrines there. Hello there. And even more current. 21% of current life. Holy cow. Yeah, the moment you lose all their shields, they're as good as dead. And if I attack them, I'm going to have, have a lot of soul seers just flying out. Yeah, the log build is, is just so good. The most amazing lock ever. Now, what do I want from here? I don't want anything. But actually, more damage to barriers. And because at this stage, barriers is, the, is my only nemesis. Might as well get rid of that as well. Oh, why not? Wow. And more soldiers, 24% current life, yes. What is this? Oh, it's a pickup, yes, please. Gotta be able to move properly. Now, what do we have? We have more heals, nice. This one is more master skills. I have a quite a high chance of master skills now. Ooh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, give me one of them spinny, thing spinny things. I want more spins. Give me more spins. There you go. That's good. That's good enough, I think. I need to break my pots just for the sake of arguments. I love breaking pots. Yeah, the soul seals are just doing the work. At this stage, I don't actually think I need to level up my lock even more beyond that. I, I just want to see how high I can get it. And apparently this is not even as high as it goes. I need a global magnet now. I need it right now. Good lord. That was useless. Um, global magnet, come on. I don't even need a healing. I just need a global magnet. Come on. You dead now. I need this. I need to stop attacking. I need to pick up the, the red gem. Oof. Come on, global magnet. I need that. Okay, ruptured enemies. How many levels did I get? I got two levels out of that. That's awesome. Ooh, that's awesome. Oh, look at that. I, I am death. Literally death. Good lord. Look at the amount of socials. Why did you go off screen? Guy, bosses are not supposed to run away off screen. Come on, I'm right there. I don't think this is reasonable. And he dead. He only prolonged his life for like 10 seconds. That was very unreasonable, I think. And of course, Soul Stealers had the highest DPS at the end, but of course, Chains of War dealt the most damage. They dealt all the damage at this stage. And uh, what's my luck? I think I had like 500 luck at the end. 70-80% chance to activate the Chains of War. 124% chance to activate the Soul Stealers. Holy cow, if you watched this far, why not subscribe? And uh, thank you for watching this far. See ya!